45 fps while flying over london with the pimax crystal light set to its native resolution it looks extremely sharp and with the level of detail set to the maximum it looks delicious and here we are on the ground at london city airport and i bought the phoenix a320 in my opinion the most detailed airplane to do some proper vr performance testing i also enabled gsx ground services so there is a lot of things going on and as you can see we can almost maintain a stable 45 fps and i can tell you once it's this good on the ground it is even better in the air welcome to this settings guide where i will be showing you what settings i use with the pimax crystal light in microsoft flight simulator 2024 to have a great flying experience but first let's take a look at my current setup the cpu an i9 14900kf the gpu an rtx 4090 and i have 64 gigabytes of ram for the first step we will be needing the pimax xr control center this tool you can download via github the link is in the description once you open the open xr control center you will be seeing this in the top set the select active open xr runtime to pimax xr if we go a bit more down, we check prefer frame rate over latency. We also check lock to half frame rate. We uncheck allow use of the eye tracker and we uncheck enable quad fuse rendering. Now, in my case, if I enable quad fuse rendering and I enable foveated rendering in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, I lose FPS. So make sure to uncheck quad fuse rendering in the Pimax XR control center. In step two, we download the OpenXR toolkit. The link is in the description. If you open the OpenXR toolkit, you will be seeing this. Make sure that in the top, disable the OpenXR toolkit is unchecked. We want it to be enabled. In step three, we take a look at the Pimax device settings. If you open the Pimax application on your desktop, you will be seeing this. We will set the refresh rate to 90 Hertz. In the game step, we set the render quality to high for extreme clarity. Fixed foveated rendering, we uncheck both options. We also uncheck smart smoothing and uncheck lock to half frame rate. We can check hidden area mask. For the rest, we don't do anything here. We go to the general tab and we make sure that the open XR runtime is set to Pimax XR. That's what we have done in the Pimax XR control center. I am not setting it to the Pimax open XR as the open xr runtime and before we go to the in-game settings a word from our sponsor vrwave.store these lenses can save your eyes if you are like me and you played with glasses in the past you know that this is not the most comfortable way to play without them i got eye strain but these lenses come with a blue protect filter. They are very easily attachable to any headset. The Quest 3, the Valve Index, the Pimax Crystal, you name it. Go check them out at vrwave.store. As for step four, we are going in-game. The in-game settings. I set the NVIDIA DLSS super resolution to balanced. And here we make sure that foveated rendering is enabled it's important this gives me six to eight fps more as for terrain level of detail i set it to the maximum but when on the ground i sometimes adjust it to 200 based on the plane i am in as for the rest i have set most things to medium 
Can I go higher? Sure. But with these settings, I just don't have to worry. I will scroll down here and you can pause it at any moment to just take over these settings. Once again, I am happy with the terrain level of detail set to the maximum for some really nice VFR flying. And once on the ground with the Phoenix A320, I adjusted slightly to 200 or 150 to get that extra FPS on the ground. But once in the air, I adjust it back. In step five, we take a look at the OpenXR toolkit settings. Once in game and once in VR, you press Ctrl F2. This is to open the OpenXR toolkit. Here we set the target frame rate to 45 and I set the overlay to FPS just to see my FPS in game. As for the upscaling, I set it to CAS with a sharpness of 50%. Fixed foveated rendering is set to off. If I turn this on, I don't get any benefit out of it. Turbo mode is set to on. In appearance, we don't change anything. In inputs, we don't change anything. And in the override resolution, we set that to no. We just play at the highest render resolution in the Pimax play setting. Here in the field of view, you can play with it a little bit. I set mine to 90%. You can go lower or you can keep it at 100%. This is to uh, lower the FOV to gain a small performance boost. Play with this, I would say. And with these settings, I do have a fantastic flying experience. Everything is extremely sharp in the headset. I can read everything uh, uh, in the cockpit itself, on the screens, the indicators, whatever. Here on the ground at London City Airport, we are getting airborne. The FPS is not 45 stable, but we are, I mean, come on, we are in London on the ground. But once we get airborne, as you can see here, it really hits that 45 FPS quite easily. And once we get up a little bit higher here, it will just get better and better and better. And also for flying VFR, these settings work great for me. Here in the Cessna approaching London City Airport, flying low over London, and we are, you know, getting a 45 stable FPS. And with the clarity of the Pimax Crystal Light and the render uh, quality set to high, it's a pleasure for the eyes and I can't wait to fly just a bit more. Now, let me know in the comments down below if this is of any help to you. I know every system is different, but these settings just work great for me without having to download or to tweak a lot of different things. Any tips or tricks or you know a way to gain lots of FPS let me know in the comments down below. In the end, we all need to learn from each other and we want everyone to have the best gaming experience or sim experience in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I hope this helped and as always, subscribe if you want to keep updated with the latest VR stuff and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao!